what is going on YouTube? Welcome to BitGoss. My name is Calamelli. I don't know why I'm doing it in like a presenter voice, but anyway, I'm, I guess I'm kind of presenting. Moving swiftly on. Welcome to BitGoss, guys. This is my new YouTube channel. As you can see on screen, this is my yeah crypto and NFT news site. And this YouTube video is basically, or this YouTube channel is gonna help to complement the, yeah, the news blog. So a little bit about myself. I am um, a journalist by trades, my degree is in journalism. And I just wanted to, I love writing, and I just wanted to share what I am learning about the crypto and NFT space of everyone. And I thought complementing me with a YouTube channel just completely made sense. So you're obviously here because you've either seen the title is about cold-blooded creeps, which we will go into shortly, or you just want to get to learn a little bit more about the NFT space. So you're in the right place, as you can see here, home of the latest crypto and NFT projects, news and trends. Remind me never to do that voice again. Moving on, we are going to head over to the cold-blooded creeps. Actually, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Can you tell the nerves are kicking in, guys? My very first YouTube video, bear with me. So back to bitgoss.io. We're going to go to the blog page. And here we go. WTF, our cold-blooded creeps. Well, I'm glad you asked because we are going to go on to the latest blog post now. And this is essentially what I'm going to be taking you through with the video, everyone. So if you do want to pause the video and have a read through, please feel free to do so. But... Do not feel the need to because, as I said, we're going to head over to the Cold Bloody Creeps website right now. And I'm going to take you through everything Cold Bloody Creeps. We're going to get that big lizard energy pumping. And yeah, welcome to the Invasion Grounds Season 1 recap then. So, as you can see, guys, and I'm sure as you will agree with me, this website is freaking awesome. And I guess this is why people are so bullish on Creeps. It is, there's nothing like this, in my opinion, in the NFT space. There is just nothing like it. The community is just on a whole nother level, the most positive uh, bullish community I've ever been in. And I'm very, very excited to share what has happened so far in season one and what we have to look forward to in season two. So let's start with the game map and then we'll start looking into yeah what has happened what nfts are currently available and what is set to come out so the invasion grounds um staking area over here this is where you'll see my uh, my three creeps and this is where you stake your your nfts essentially to generate your lumi so before we go any further let's head over to OpenSea and we can look at the creeps invasion pass so this is where it all began this is what you originally minted, the Creeps Invasion Pass, and this then got you the most important asset in the Creeps ecosystem, which is your Creeps Genesis. You've probably seen these little critters all over Twitter, all over Discord, um, bombarding Elon Musk's tweets and things like that. Um, you'll see these all over the shop, and you know there's nothing like them. They're so cool. They're so unique. They're their own little characters, and do you know what? I will go into something shortly, which is all about the 360 um, uh, collaboration with uh, Creeps, where we are now represented represented by uh, 360 management. But I would not be surprised by the end of 2022 if Creeps has their own Netflix show or something like that. This reminds me of um, like the David Attenborough of Big Mouth, like a cool, quirky, um, as I said, Big Mouth or Family Guy kind of series on Netflix. Um, but yeah, let me scroll through. You can see the different characters, but they look really, really cool. Cool traits, cool personalities. And um, as you can see on the wall behind me, um, yeah, I've got mine up on the wall. So they are super, super cool. Uh, one other thing to note here before I go any further, and I'll just quickly refresh the page, is out of a collection of 11,100, there are literally only 122 items listed. Like that is insane. 97% or from here you can see as of the 28th of February so we're already mid-March I think it's back up to 97% now a state in the invasion games you know this is unheard of and this is just one of the collections as I said we're going to go through the reptile armory and the shapeshifters but this is just the genesis collection like when we start season two 
and people, as you can see here, FOMO buyer, people get the fear of missing out. This, this the floor price is gonna rise. On that note, this is not financial advice. I just had to say that. You know I how it is, guys. That. Could you try again? Yes, sorry. This is not financial advice, buddy. Um, so you have your creeps genesis. The creeps invasion pass was not burnt, and this will come into play in season two when we introduce the metaverse activity. Okay, so you, you want to always have one of these for each creep that you hold. Moving on, let's go back to the game map. So you've got your creeps and your reptile armory, which I'm going to go on to next, uh, staked in here, and that's generating your in game token, which is Lumi. As you can see here, the green is going to accumulate 1500 Lumi a day, which is the lowest um, any creeps would generate. You've got the gray, which generates 1700, the yellow 1800. If I had a blue, it would be in between, so it'd be 1600. A purple is 1900. And if you had one of the rare one of ones, which look freaking awesome, they would generate you 2500. So if we quickly hop over to Rarity Sniffer. You can see the one of ones, these first 10. And I mean, like, look at the art. There's just like Cychrome, who's the artist behind this project, has just done a absolute insane job with this artwork. You've got the Overlord, um, who does all the announcements in Discord. It's super cool and fun. And then, yeah, I mean, look at these um, these one of ones. They're just insane. Just super, super cool. So these would generate 2,500 uh, Lumi each day. So let's head back to the game map. So as I was saying, God, I'm out of breath from uh, from talking so much. So we go back to the game map. So you're generating your Lumi each day with your Creeps Genesis. And then the next, what you're able to spend this on was the next mint. Um, which was a Lumi Mint. You can't actually see this here because it's, they were all sold out. But on the map here, you go to the Reptilian Armory and this would get you on OpenSea your Reptile Armory. So um, different rarity, different traits and the floor price currently 0 0.175. At one stage, these were, let's have a look, one point, just under 1.6 E floor. And I will not be surprised if it goes back to that as the... Um, as we go into season two, and again, people just, you know, want to get into the project. It's very, very exciting times ahead. Um, but currently, it doesn't matter which one you have here of the reptilian armory, the reptile armory, you are going to generate an additional 600 Lumi a day. Now, on that note, Lumi is a ERC-20. So what you can do is you can generate your Lumi and you can withdraw. There is a 25% um, if I do want to withdraw a 25% withdrawal free so you pay a bribe to the overlord and um, then you can exchange that or convert that into ethereum if you want to but there's a hefty tax on it as I said the 25% because the idea is you use your Lumi in game to um, mint uh, additional NFTs and also gain access to future experiences so as we go through, you'll, you'll come to understand what those experiences are and what, how it's played out in season one. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll continue through the game. So you've got your creeps, you've had your, um, you've minted your reptilian armory. We're now gonna go to the mega shapeshifter. So you go over to this building here, you could have minted, obviously they're all sold out, uh, 20,000 uh, shapeshifters. And this was super, super fun. So. I didn't actually mint the game. I'm an idiot. I was in the Discord channel um, before the mint and I never got round to minting. And then people do what they typically do. They flip it for double. And just in my head, I was just like, oh, I'm not going to pay double, even though it was only like 0 0.16 to buy the invasion pass. Didn't mint. And then I ended up buying later on. And uh, yeah, anyway, we won't talk any more about that. I'm still obviously extremely bullish about the project and uh, I'm here for the long run. Um, but I could have, yeah, got in at mint. Very, very sad time. So you come here, you minted your shapeshifters, which were these essentially like um, Pokemon trading cards. And yeah, it was super fun, super cool. You've got your uh, Trump, then it went to Cuban in terms of rarity, your Paris, your, who was after that? Your Elon Musk, wherever Elon is. Uh, you then had your Snoop Dogg, Gary V, and then Banks. He's going to be all the way down the bottom somewhere. And you had to collect five of the same token, essentially. So you needed five of these NFTs. 
And then what you did is you went back to the uh, creeps, mega shapeshifters here, and you mutate. So you can still do it now, you can still go and buy your five and you can mutate. And what that got you was your mega shapeshifters. And these again, like Cychrome, if you are watching this or listening, take a bow, sir, bravo, because these are freaking sick. So again, you got your, your mega trump with the uh, orange uh, tan, fake tan that he loves to use. The Cuban, the Paris, you got a Gary V over here, your Elon, my, my favorite is by far the Elon Mega, Snoop Dogg, and let me see if I can find a a Banks Mega, because he looks pretty sick as well. Yeah, over here, Banks Mega. And these, again, they generate you Lumi. So anytime someone wants to cash out the Lumi and convert it into uh, ERC, the bribe that gets paid to the overlords, so this, um, this guy here, you're gonna get a percentage of that. And also the next part we went on to, which was a mystery box. Every time you uh, pay 2000 Lumi to spin the mystery box, the Creeps Megas, they um, uh, got a percentage of the, the Lumi as well from that. So that's how they generate their Lumi. So anytime Lumi is burned, that's when the Creeps Megas are um, you know, benefiting most from it. So you've got your Reptilian Armory, 600 a day, your Creeps, they have a set amount every day, and then the Creeps Mega Bribes that they collect are, you know, it fluctuates depending on the gameplay. So yeah, whilst we're on it then, the Mystery Box, you can no longer spin this, but essentially the reason we were spinning the Mystery Box over a three week period is we were pillaging three different planets for shards. And if we head over here to the Temple, the Sacrifice Temple, this was the, basically the last major part of the season one gameplay is we were trying to accumulate these shards each week. So I accumulated these seven here in week one. I then got three in week two and three again in week three. By no means am I a whale in this game. As I said, I had, um, I had a couple of creeps and some reptilian armory. And then I sold off some of the armory and got myself a third creep because I just think the creeps genesis is always going to... Uh, be the most valuable asset long term and even with a green it still generates me 1500 lumi a day so for me that's how i was um or how i am currently playing the game so the shards were the key focus but you can also see here if we look at for example the intergalactic bong of temporary annihilation or the machine of no regrets you've got points so here i would get four points and here i had minus six points so each one of these i got was minus one point and i got uh, plus two points for these and the idea was you would if we go to the leaderboard now you, you're accumulating um, points if I go to show me and these then got you a chance at some unbelievable rewards so one of them for example and this was Luminomics at one he's like one of the um, integral pillars of the community so I'm so pleased for him he won a Tesla so he's getting a wrapped creeps Tesla which is freaking sick and um, you can see here I ranked, uh, <laughs> I was nowhere near the top, but I ranked 1490. I had 310 points, 85 total spins on the mystery box, and these were the shards I accumulated. And then if I go back to to show you, you know, the likes of um, Izadi, again, Izadi, if you're watching, um, thank you for everything you do for the community, firstly, but yeah, big, big player in the game. And look at the points he accumulated, 15,499. Total spins, 3,687. And yeah, I mean, look how many shards he's got. So he's actually won himself a one of one interdimensional lizard. So whilst we're on that, the reason we were spinning the mystery box and accumulating these points uh, is probably, for me, the most exciting part of season two, which is coming up. The shards give you access to, here on the map, the interdimensional portal. And then we are all going to be able to, as long as you uh, collected shards from each week of the gameplay from the mystery box, we are all going to get two interdimensional lizards, wait for it, that we are going to be designing ourselves. So on that note, let's head over to the Creeps Twitter page. If you aren't following them, it's CB Creeps over here. Give them a follow. And yeah, this is just an example of some more of Cychrome's unbelievable artwork and the traits that you are going to be able to choose from. So the more shards you accumulated and the more points you accumulated, the more you're going to have to spend on designing your 
interdimensional inter lizard. So everything from obviously the background, the teeth and mouth, the left eye, right eye, the, you know, your gun. Yeah, these are just freaking cool. And the idea is that the Creeps Genesis and the interdimensional lizards, we don't know exactly what it is yet, but they are going to be um, part of the metaverse gameplay going forth. And my understanding is you won't be able to stake your interdimensional lizard, but you will be able to potentially steal Lumi from the Creeps Genesis. So yeah, still have no idea what that's going to look like. We have an AMA this Saturday, um, which I'm very excited about. But yeah, I mean, now is the time. If you don't feel like guys, if you don't have a Creeps that you have missed out on everything, you can still actually get yourself a Creeps Genesis and two interdimensional lizards. All you need to do, again, floor price two ETH, go over here, pick yourself up one off of the floor. And then if you go to the Discord, I'll have a link to the Discord uh, below the video. You can submit a ticket and that ticket, providing you bought off OpenSea um, and you're staking in game and can prove that to the mods, that ticket will, uh, will give you access to the shard store. So if again, we go back over to the game map, the shard store just here you'll be able to purchase yourself uh, three shards, which covers you for week one, week two, week three. It will cost you 15,000 Lumi um, per shard, so 45,000 total. Sorry for flicking between all the screens, but let's head over to Uniswap where you can buy your, uh, uh, your Lumi if you need it. It's gonna cost you $133 as it stands, plus your gas uh, to buy 45,000 Lumi. That will get you your shards. You're probably gonna wanna buy more Lumi because you're gonna to need to get some points to then design your lizards. But what I'm trying to hint at here is that you can still, you know, reap the rewards from season one of what we were all working hard to do to get the interdimensional lizards and get into the um, into the ecosystem now. Like you're, you're not too late. And this is probably the best time to get in because we're in a bear market. If you go to the Creeps Genesis, as I said earlier, there's only 122 items listed. I think we are actually now 97% staked. Like there's no other project where you have this amount in game staked. And this is across every single collection. Like if we go to buy it now here, 20,000 total reptile um, armory. There's only 127 items available. The Creeps Mega again, if you go to buy it now, what is actually available? Only 87. Like, guys, this is a blue chip project and I am more than confident we will see the floor up at 5, 10, 20 ETH, like in no time. When people start to understand um, the partnerships, which again, I'm going to go into in a minute, that are lined up for this year with Creeps and what Dom and Joe, the founders are you know, doing and what their sites are like, they want to flip BAYC. Um, you know, this is why the community is so bullish. This is why there's so many diamond hands. This is why people aren't selling and there's so few available is because we truly believe in the project. So on that note, let's go over to, for me, the most bullish news um, so far in Creeps is the 360 uh, representation. So we are now as you can see over here, Creeps is now represented by 360 Management. These are a globally renowned uh, music and entertainment management brand. So, for example, Calvin Harris. They manage, like, hello, Calvin Harris. They manage Calvin Harris. If I scroll down, you've got Will Smith. You've got Willow Smith. You've got some huge, huge players, guys. If you want to just go to the website, Louis Tomlinson from One Direction. You know, these are, like global leaders when it comes to um, talent management. And if we go back to, as I said earlier, back to the uh, Creeps uh, OpenSea page, or let's just go back to the actual uh, website. If you scroll down and you kind of get a feel for the ecosystem and join the Discord and talk to people in the AMA spaces and the Twitter spaces, you will start to understand like, how much potential this project has. Like for me, when I look at the artwork alone, this is like a Netflix series. This is like the big mouth or family guy of, um, you know, the David Attenborough version of that, the, the animal version. And, you know, it's just so cool. The whole concept behind it, um, you know, the shapeshifters, the, the, just the creeps themselves, 
this has got so much potential to become um, what Joe and Dom want this to become is a globally recognized entertainment brand. And there's not many NFT projects out there, like there's a handful that have the potential currently to do that. In terms of delivery of gameplay and you know roadmap, Creeps is in a league of their own. There's, there's no one else doing it like Creeps. Um, you can tell I, I, I like the project, right? Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is what the video is all about, is to bring you up to date with what has happened in season one. It's to reiterate that you are not too late if you do want to get into the ecosystem. Again, any questions you have, like please tweet me at Calamelli, you know, direct message me on Instagram, leave me a comment below. I will be sure to reply and come back to you. Hop in the Discord, have a chat, and yeah, the whole community will will help you out. If you do happen to get yourself a creeps, just go into the Discord and just type, you know, that you've just joined or type one of us and watch the response you get. It is absolutely insane. Like, there's just no space, no community like creeps. And um, yeah, happy to answer any questions you have. Okay, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Again, a brief overview. You can just go to my website, bitgoss.io, uh, go to the WTF, our cold-blooded creeps blog, and it will again um, highlight everything that I've gone through in the video uh, in a nice, clear, and concise article. Be sure to follow CB Creeps on Twitter. You can also follow myself um, at Calamelli, as I said. And yeah, no question is a stupid question. Just ask. Now is probably the best time you, it could be to get into Creeps. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, give it a like, share it with your friends. And anything you want to see going forth, leave a comment. I will be sure to consider it for the next videos. Guys, it's been a pleasure and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.